Hello everybody, welcome back to Frostpunk. My name's Rob, and we are, well, heading into Winterhome. At least, that's the goal. Uh, if you remember correctly, as, as I'm trying to right now. Uh, wait, oh, we're not paused. Okay, I should pause this. Um, that would be smart. Yeah, me. Okay, so we've got people going out on adventures and stuff. Uh, and we're finally starting to be able to get to some of these areas uh, out here and be able to actually take a look at them because that's what we're going to need to do. I'm almost certain that Winter Home is somewhere around here. I don't know how far out there, but somewhere around here. Uh, it's too dangerous for me to charge until our whiteout leaves, but uh, we've got the old Dreadnought going. We've got our coal mine settlement, our fortitude base, uh, looks like we're about to run out of stuff over here. And we've got New London over here. Uh, which is also running out of stuff <laughs> pretty quickly. So, um, look, we need shelter. We need just about everything at the moment. And we don't really have a ton of people necessarily. Let me check and see what's going on over here at the old Dreadnought. I can't really remember. It's been a tiny bit since I've played this game specifically. I've been working on a few other ones as well. Uh, we still have no goods over here. Our materials are relatively low. Um, we've got enough oil, it seems. Good shelter and good food surplus over here. So, that's good news, at least. These colonists, as they are being called, um, are over here. So, let's head down here into New London and see what we've got. So, we have the idea tree up. There's no new laws, really, for us to pass at the moment, I don't think. Um, I think if everybody liked me more, I could potentially pass some of these laws. Um, hmm. I kind of want a militia. It seems fun. Let's go with a militia. So, squads of well-trained, well-equipped guards to put down disruptions and otherwise keep the peace. A dictator, they might say. I mean, either one, it's like we're either going to be a captain through forcing them to do stuff or, you know, not. Uh, how pissed off is everybody against us right now? Let's see. Most everybody's okay. They don't love us. But they don't completely, like, I'm accepted. Is what it says. Is there a way for me to become more accepted? I don't have much money to give you guys. Uh, also, make sure to like and subscribe. Sorry, I jumped right into the game. Make sure to like and subscribe if you've gotten this far uh, and haven't. It would mean a lot. Thanks. I will be, uh, if I, I guess it depends on when you watch this, but I will have a review coming out of this game uh, at some point. I haven't recorded it as a recording of this episode, but uh, I hope to have that out sometime soon. So, or if uh, you want to know my overall thoughts of the game, you can head over to thegamehouse.com uh, and either read it through written form or on the YouTube channel in a watchable form. But okay. Um, oh, we can publicly support factions. Hmm. just feel like this is a good idea. Stuart. Or a bad idea, excuse me. Stuart. Stuart, Stuart. Stuart. Okay. Let's just continue on. Let's do that. Let's see what our idea tree's got here. Um, We don't really need coal mines. We, we need resources. We need money. Um... What's workers comp do here? Hmm. What is scout training? Okay, what about this? This is important. Hmm. 
Yeah, we're gonna need that. That's a good idea. Sad that'll work, because we are running out of stuff out there in the frozen wastes. And that's not good. Let's take a look at our city here for a second. Look at this bad boy. It is hustling and a bustling, without a doubt. And uh, we're gonna need to keep our people happy, also without a doubt. That must happen. Uh, right now, people are a little cold. It's about to get colder. So, you know, we'll be needing more heat. Luckily, we do have heat surplus, which is great. It is something we need. Oh, we got a save coming in. But we are starting to run out of materials and a lot of other goods here. Eventually, this is just going to become, like, factories and basically everything else, it would seem. But, uh, oh, we also don't have prefabs. Hmm. What does this do? 20 heat. Put squalor down. We don't really have a squalor problem. Um, doing okay on food. Extraction. What does this do? Disease goes up, but it gives us more sawmill. So where would I put this? Oh, okay, so I put this in places like this. So what are you actually gonna do? Um So it just really speeds up the process. I don't really know that that's what we need right now. Uh that is what we need. We need more prefabs. For sure. Um I think that's a good idea. I'm just gonna be honest. That seems like a good idea. What about these hubs? Do we need any of those? No, because we need prefabs. Can't do squat without prefabs. Okay. Uh, and we will need to build homes. The housing districts will be coming up here shortly. But these prefabs should be coming from this thing, should be helping us. So let's see here. We finished some stuff. Where did we go? What did we do? Oh, here we go. New areas. The Frozen Sea. Fishing trawler. A fishing trawler with a full cache is locked in ice. A logbook in hold suggests the vessel originally hailed from somewhere called Canada. Wow, they forgot about what Canada was already. That's wild. Okay. Uh, but we have no idea where it uh, has been since. The catch may still be edible if people in New London have strong stomachs. Um, do we need... I don't know if we need food right now. What about this? Nomad in exile. These people are shunned by other nomads. They are tight-lipped about exactly what happened. Ugh. Um, they are willing to to integrate with our communities if we let them start a fresh new life in London. New London, yeah. I would love more people. Great. All right, can we start coming out here now? Almost. We're close. Um... We got four teams. Oh, I can come out to the hills. Um, I need more of my teams, though. So, where are we going here, teams? I know one just went out somewhere else. Didn't you guys look up somewhere? No. Hmm. Is this what's going on? Do I have a team over here right now? Okay, it's just an abandoned camp. That's fine. But what about... Oh, stop it. What about this thing here? Um... Okay, I guess there's a group coming, but... What? What is going on? Why? I wish they would give me a notification for, like, when my people are coming back somewhere. That would honestly be really nice. Uh, that's not good. Okay. Youth patrols. Patrol watchtowers and dutiful youth. Steward, we are pleased to report that our p guard patrol's response time has improved thanks to the watchful eye of young volunteers. These young citizens are so much help, said an appreciative guard. They monitor their neighborhoods, keeping tabs on some troublesome individuals and reporting the misdemeanors they spot. They give me hope for the future. Um... Well, at least we're decreasing crime, but uh, 
feels like we're becoming a little bit uh, of a bro big brother state. Not something that we want to do. <laughs> Definitely not what I was trying to do. But, you know, I guess it is what it is. Um, all right. So we still need more housing. Still need a good bit more housing. We're going to need to put it in this area, I think. Oh, <sighs> okay. Um, do I want another industrial district? I don't Report think so. Report any suspicious behavior to your local guard patrol. They yes. They are here to help. Good. All right. Glad to hear it. Okay. Uh, so we did explore. Is it really just this one? Let's see. Hot Springs Refuge. Okay. In the heart of the mountain pass stands an old loading station likely used to connect Outpost 11 with the distant hot springs. Inside, we found the body of an elderly man who had frozen while waiting for a transport that never arrived. Okay. Um, I mean, we kind of want... We'll come back later for that. We got a lot of cores. Um, I think we'll need more, honestly. All right, we're about to be done here. What did we check? Or what are we gonna complete? Tell me, what did we complete? What did we look at? Oh, right here, okay. Redemption Way. Baron's Cave, Shipwreck Camp. A wall of whiskey barrels protects the entrance to this cave. Inside, shackled servants sell anything from stolen jackets to sun drugs. I wonder what that is. Uh, towards the back of the market is where the servants themselves are bought and sold. Our scouts were handed a message. To who whoever rules New London, I rescued each of my servants from certain death in the pillage-ridden bilge of the shipwreck camp. Send us some materials to make weapons and we can expand to the shipwreck itself. The Baron. Um, That's interesting. We'll come back later. So this Baron guy owns that area. Okay, shipwreck camp. Nope, come back. Uh, population approximately 5,000 people. Okay. Uh, broken chains hang from the gunwale of a ship or of a wrecked prison hulk. Founded by escaped convicts who swore all residents would be equal, rival gangs formed over time and now compete for power. Our scouts say the settlement is in chaos with different laws and practices behind each bulkhead. Until a clear authority reigns, there's nothing we can do at the wreck. Okay. Um, need more guard squads, apparently. Um, hmm. Nearby ridge line. Where's that? It must be over here. Hmm. Okay. Well, we've got all of our crews back. And I want to start going out this way. That's really what I want to do. Um. Bears the size of houses. Roam these wastes. Okay. Let's. Let's take a beat here. So. We're about to get these guys back here. You know what? I'll let them come in. Look at them walk. Do, 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 do. And they've arrived. Okay, cool. So we're at full strength for our Frostland teams. Now, again, I think we need to go this way. I really feel strongly about that. So. Maybe we'll go down here. All right, we're going to send a team here. This is as far that they've ever gone, apparently. We'll send one team here, too. And then... 23 teams. 9 teams. 18 teams. Okay. Let's check over here. We'll check out Steam Valley. Okay. So we sent them all there. I probably could have sent them other places, but look at them go. Where is this group going? Why are you guys going that way? You're not supposed to be going that way. All right, whatever. They can go whatever path they want to. Um, 
All right, so the city's doing okay, but let's get some uh, let's get some housing. Yeah, what do you guys think? A little bit of housing, probably not a bad idea. Well, I say probably. I'd hope not. There we go. Perfect. A new little area of housing here, which should hopefully help our housing problem, our shelter problem, which we will absolutely be having a major one of. This one is food. So our food is starting to run low. That is also problematic. How do I make a food without a food district? Um, hmm. Vanguard Logistics Bay. Okay, so that's how we get more people if we need them. Um, okay. What about these hubs? What do you guys do? Oh yeah, these are just like stockpiling. Oh, we don't have enough to stockpile at the moment. Not gonna lie. Uh, so I'm not gonna worry about that. We're actually doing okay against the cold right now. Uh, I think we need to look into... This should be done here in a minute. I want to look into food. I want to look into food and, like, coal and stuff. So, check out the old Dreadnought, too. How are we doing over here, guys? You guys still don't have any materials. But at least you have housing and food. So that's fine. I think we'll do that. Um, hopefully they'll find everybody soon. Prepare for the colonization. What does that mean exactly, though, I wonder? I don't remember. I'll have to check on that. Uh, what's our new logistics? Attended freight. Oh, yes. This was a good idea. But I have nowhere to put it. It's a bit of a problem. Where would I put you? Hmm. So apparently I can't put you anywhere at the moment. Oh, because we already have the Vanguard and other stuff. Okay. If I expand, though, that'd be good. Let's see. What do you guys got going on here? Hiram Townsend, a 39-year-old trapper. Sparing a baby seal. Sorry, little one. I had to take your mother. It was her time. But you're too small for my pile now would be ashamed to deprive you of your life for so little meat. Go on back in the water with you. One day we'll meet again, and I'll spare your children as I've spared you today. Wow. How kind of you. We're adapting. We're learning. That's fine. Um, we are running out of the coal mine, though, too. Ugh. Let's see. How are we doing at the old Dreadnought? At least people-wise... We still have a lot of workforce available. Is that what's available? I gotta go check that one second. Let me do this first. Okay, so we've got oil for days, it would seem, over there. That's fine. And... Uh, we finally have enough goods to send over there, so we'll send some there. Send some materials over there as well. I think that should be good. They got no money, but they don't need money. Okay. I would think. Maybe I'm wrong on that. But, hey, at least they got materials now and goods and stuff, so... Won't be fighting over here, hopefully. But, let's check our idea tree. We need food. What are about these advanced hothouses? What does this do? Uh, 100 food output. Okay. Then we're gonna probably do that, right? It's 80, more heat. Why wouldn't we do this? It just seems better. I mean, it's got more of a workforce requirement, but that's okay. An automaton has broken down and is blocking traffic. Technicians are on their way. <laughs> it's blocking traffic. Yeah. Yeah, they're just blocking traffic. No big deal. All right, we're going to continue on here. Um, 
Yeah, the only problem is we're really not doing great on goods. We're doing okay on just about everything else, but goods are not going great. We have workforce over here, and I meant to check that over in Dreadnought. Oh, no, come back. 3,500 more people live among us. Okay. So they've only got 300. So we got a lot of people over here who need jobs. Bunch of bums. All right, where did we check out? Far Reach has been explored, so that's down here. Let's see what we've got going on. An explorer's grave. A pile of stones breaks the horizon. The cairn is both a grave and a cache. We firmly believe the core within was left for whoever finds themselves in need and not for the explorer's journey in the afterlife. Some of the scouts fear disturbing the stones, while others point out that we can take the core and reassemble the cairn afterwards. Um, yeah, we'll take it. Why not? It's fine. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, frozen grave. We found a grove of, of trees. Okay, and it's cased in snow and ice, the perfect site for a crew with a wall drill to extract timber. Uh, an outpost here would, okay, so that's good. So we're starting to find those more often. These are about to be done too. So I'll just wait out here for a second because this one's literally about to be done. There we go. Hot Springs, there it is. Okay, settlement population approximately 3,500. These hard people live in deep reverence of the natural spring, which they believe can cure any ailment. Their simple hot houses and subterranean housing are barely enough to support their population, so their culture ensures nothing is wasted and no weakness is tolerated. They are skeptical of outsiders, but perhaps we can convince our force or force <laughs> them to allow our sick to heal in the natural springs. Okay. Um, so we're going to need some more guards. That's something that I'm realizing here. Nameless Cliff. Many mounds under a cliff attracted our scouts' attention. They discovered hundreds of infant skeletons. Oh, God. Um, okay. A track from the top of the cliff leads to the hot springs. We can only assume they have their reasons for doing this. Perhaps we can offer to take any children the hot springs can't support to New London. Yeah, we're definitely going to do that. Yeah, we'll do that. That seems necessary, to be honest. Okay, and we're almost done here with this mountains. Get that checked out. Man, we can't be far from freaking winter home. Where is it? Ghostless Wastes. Buried Village. Under the snow lies a settlement from the old times. It's people long gone and its structures damaged and decayed by the frost. I wonder... I wonder who that was. So more materials. Slaver's Camp. Uh-oh. Several scouts went missing in this area over the years. Finally, we traced their tracks to this walled camp. You can see cages and guarded huts. It seems to be some kind of slaving camp. If we sent guards, we could deal with the slavers and rescue some of the prisoners. Our scouts will certainly feel safer knowing they can explore without having to watch their backs. I can't say I blame them. Let's send them on over. All right, last one here. Breakdown point. From the size of the abandoned workshop, wooden scaffolding, and support structures, our scouts believe a dreadnought was serviced here for several months. Around the workshop, they found the remains of training equipment, targets, bows, rifles, and compasses, all used and repaired and used again to the point of shattering. Okay. Uh, a small graveyard stood to the side near a crude sculpture of a man covered in eels. Its plinth reads, those who stay are lost, but those who move on will be found. Okay. Well, uh, we'll take the prefabs, I guess. And we are going to move on here shortly. This has to be it. Um, okay, so shrooms is an option, apparently. There's nothing really over here. I really thought... I re this has to be where it's at. That has to be where Winterhome is at. Otherwise, I don't really know what to do. We've been ignoring this for a while, so let's go there. And we'll head back to the city. Okay, so a lot of exploring done. That was good. A lot of good exploring done. Um, I don't really know... Hmm... 
What should we build right now? Feels like building is a good idea. Um, we're getting enough prefabs at the moment. We're still lacking in housing. So I think what we'll do is let's try expanding these housing areas. I think that seems like a good idea. Me. So let's get one there, there, and there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, can you expand? No. Can you expand? Yes. Uh, but we haven't broken any of the ice over there, so we'll need to do that. Uh, that's a housing district. Okay. Uh, nowhere for you to go either right now. What about you? No. And I landlocked these ones, unfortunately. That was probably a bad choice by me. Should have thought about that. Didn't. Uh, two, one, two, three here for now. By you. Looks like you can expand. One, two, three. I know that you are a dense housing district as well. Uh, one, two, three. All right, so we're expanding a lot of the houses. That's hopefully going to be good. Amber Cooper, a 36... Your old conservator. Uh, restoring an old London painting. Okay, we won't lose our history. All that knowledge, literature, art, it lives, it'll live with us. With our past as our bedrock, we can stand on the shoulders of the greats who came before us. We can build on what they've done. Our history doesn't have to weigh us down. It can bolster us forwards. It can be a foundation. Okay, cool. Well... Feels like we're doing a lot of stuff here, to be honest with you. But um, I think that's I think that's what we're gonna do for now. A lot of exploration. We can see when these dates are gonna be done, uh, and a lot of quick little expansions for right now. Really, we're just working towards finding Winter Home, uh, which I guess we did do. How do I not know that? Am I stupid? I keep saying we need to find Winter. But this is Winter Home, isn't it? <sighs> I'm so stupid. Alright, next episode, we're going to start colonizing Winter Hill. <laughs> I'm looking Please for it, and we already freaking found it. Caution, even in quarantine. One illness does not make you invulnerable to others. Okay, I just wanted to hear what that said. And we've ran out of stuff over here. Okay. We got stuff to do on the next one. So check back uh, when you want to see us, you know, colonizing Winter Home and heading into the next area. So I think, well, I don't think that is going to wrap it up for us. So with that, guys, I will catch you on the next one.